Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 101, verse 36. Wherefore, fear not even unto death, for in this world your joy is not full, but in me your joy is full. Okay, so temporal things are not meant to give us joy, so we should not pretend they do. Because the temporal world, as we know it right now, is not going to last. It is here for a purpose, and when that purpose is fulfilled, Heavenly Father will cleanse it. And Christ will cleanse it, and it shall be an eternal world. But for now, we need to survive and thrive in this world. But we shouldn't seek to build our riches and our wealth and our future upon this world. We should seek to build a future with God because He is eternal. And we can find joy and prosperity in turning to God and giving all of our sins, sorrows, and weaknesses to Christ through His atonement. And utilizing that atonement that we might be able to find a fullness of joy through the gospel. Death is not something that should be feared, for death is temporal. God is going to resurrect everyone, except those who have known him and then cast him away. For good. For they have made their choice and he cannot force to make another. But there are many who will still make it. And we must not fear death, for death is temporal because death is necessary so that we can go back to the spirit world, share all that we have learned, learn more that we have not and give an account of how we spent the time we had on earth and also eventually reunite with our perfect bodies after a long wait. I mean, it will not seem so long over there, but it seems longer over here because we mortals are impatient and seek everything right away. But through God we can have the joy of knowing that mortality isn't the end, that there is eternity in it. It is something we can enjoy because of the atonement. We cannot be afraid to trust God, for God will never lead us wrong. Satan and his children of perdition will try to lead us wrong so that he can add to his collection of children of perdition. But he will fail unless people give him power and he cannot beat God he can destroy people because people let him but he cannot destroy God so we can find joy safety and security in God we just have to trust him enough to go unto him and seek those things but it is our choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.